Greetings, greetings. Welcome to Tunisia's Locks, Beauty Tips, and Potpourri. Thank you for joining me. For those of you who are new, welcome, welcome. For those of you who are just passing through, I wish you the best in your journey. And for those of you who are coming back, who are my loyal tribe, my loyal subscribers, thank you for returning for another video. Sending out lots of love to you guys. We'll be getting to 20K soon. I'm so grateful. Namaste. So today's video, I'm just going to share my, my curls with you. Just want to show you what they look like. I've been going straight since I lost some of my uh, braid out waves for the last couple of weeks. Y'all know I'm moved, so I'm way been real busy. Hadn't spent a lot of time on my hair. So I did actually kind of comb through it right before Ephraim did my retightening uh, over the last, I guess it's been almost maybe two weeks now. So I'm enjoying being able to feel my scalp. Pluck chicken look is not as bad as it used to look, so I'm feeling pretty good. So I decided last night I wanted some curls. I want some curls. I need a little bit of curls. And so y'all know that I usually use my pipe cleaners, which are my go-to curling technique or my go-to curling um, tool. But uh, I did want to dig into the sponge rollers to talk a little bit about some of the benefits of the sponge rollers and why I like them so much. And while I'm at it, if you haven't purchased my book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, it's a journey to prosperity mindset, abundance, manifesting, and emotional healing. It is not a chapter book. It's a day-to-day -day book. Shout out to all of y'all who have been purchasing the book, who purchased it over the last couple of years, and who leave reviews. I love the reviews, so please leave more reviews. Gets lots of purchases, purchases, but taking that time to go back to the review is very helpful. So what I did last night was uh, I just damped dampened my hair gently a little bit and I did it strand by strand because I stood over to well uh, lock set by lock set I stood over the the bathroom sink while I was doing it now mind you this took me less than 15 20 minutes so it's much less time than the pipe cleaners that's one advantage of doing this over pipe cleaners in fact in a manner of speaking it take it can take less time to do the um sponge rollers than it actually can to do the um the braid out even though you don't have to be paying attention you can be doing the braid out while you're actually watching tv so i took little sections as you can see um where area and hair is thicker i had less locks where the hair is a little bit thinner um i might have had a little bit more in there i did not really organize in a particular pattern I've done this a lot. I pretty much rolled all of them this time under. Although you've seen me roll them over, you've also seen me kind of roll them in a wavy pattern. The key in this instance was just to make sure my hair was sprayed or I just had a little bit of water that I, you know, reach in the sink and kind of use to dampen my hair. I don't expect these to be very tight. I just expect them to have a little bit of curl and a little bit of bounce. The sponge rollers are going to be your best bet when you want a bouncier, more uh, voluminous type of curl, all right? Um, you see that? You're going to get bounce. Now, this was with the smaller one. This curl was with this size here, all right? I prefer the sponge rollers when I do my hair this way to get curls, primarily because it's easy these are so comfortable to sleep in. They're much more comfortable than the pipe cleaners or wrap a lock tools. A few of the other sponge tools you guys have seen me use on the channel over time. Um, I forget what it was called, but some of them didn't work out well or they didn't give me enough of a tighter curl pattern. Now, if you want a tighter curl pattern, you can definitely get that. All you got to do is use less hair, use more water, leave them in longer, or use less hair and use a type of setting lotion as well. But this was something I just did in a few minutes after deciding I wanted a, a little bit of curl. And you can see this is not that tight. This could actually be tighter. Either way, I'm going to comb through them when I get them all out anyway. I don't expect these to last more than a couple of days uh, because of the fact that um, I have quite a bit of hair in each one of these. They're not particularly tight. I didn't really pull them tight. But the beauty, like I said, of this particular style is that you're going to get more of a bouffant curl. 
the curls will be less formed and less structured than what you would get with say a wrap -a lock tool or a pipe cleaner which would allow you to get a much much tighter curl but talk about fast number one talk about um low maintenance and ease of sleeping and comfort these you don't even feel like you have them in your hair all right and if you look at the way i put them in i put them at about the halfway point of my hair i could have rolled them closer up if they were a little bit larger i could have focused more on the ends if i didn't want so much bushiness up here in the top part of my head i would say to take the time which i did it this time to put smaller curls at the back since that's a high traffic area and, and the back of your hair especially if it's long will rub up and against your clothing you're gonna um need uh, a tighter curl at the back because those will be the first curls to kind of really get loose and to um you know your hair will become a little bit more straighter so as you can see beautiful curls here lots of body uh, i will also sometimes use the end wrappers i didn't this time remember this was a rush job and i'm like okay it's not gonna hurt me to you know have these rollers in and my hair to get a little dry my hair was very dry anyway because i hadn't been using my i am melanin magic hair oil shout out to all you beautiful ladies we're in the thousands now for those of you who've been purchasing this and i'm so grateful it's been beautiful many of you are leaving reviews um take the time to go back and leave a a review especially if you're having positive experiences with the oil but so my hair was quite dry when i put when i um decided to to go ahead and put the rollers in so i'm going to go back in a minute and i'm just gonna spray my hair and oil it because the sponge rollers will further take oil away from the hair so even though in the normal circumstances I don't just go through and use this throughout the length of my hair the way I used to. I really more or less focus up on this area. Uh, what little oil that I may have had trapped in my locks, the sponge is going to help to pull it out and the water will help to take it out as well. So I want to, you know, give my hair a little bit of moisture since I didn't use the end wrappers, but you can definitely use the end wrappers. Your curl is going to be just as tight. You will be just as satisfied. And you can really see uh, how this is going to look. It's going to be really beautiful. It's going to be really bu bushy. I'm going to have a lot of volume and thickness. If your hair is tends to be a little bit thinner or you don't have as much volume or you don't have as many locks, sponge rollers will be great because they'll give your hair more of that bouffant look. It's also a classier look. It's a softer curl. So for an evening out or... Um, if you're going to a five star or six or seven star, depending upon what country you're in, if you're going out for a nice evening and you're having a beautiful gown, these bouncy curls are going to really look beautiful. If you want a more a tighter, more contemporary sort of look versus more of a beautiful, uh, softer, classier look, then you would go for a tighter, more spiral curl like what you could get with that wrap a lock tool or what you could get with the pipe cleaners. But definitely if you want to be more feminine you're going to want a bouncier softer curl that's going to give you a lot more body and so the sponge roller is going to be ideal for you okay and the the quickness and the ease with which you can um put these in your hair and the other thing is you don't deal with the tangles of trying to get them out like you sometimes run into with the pipe cleaner and I'll tell you really that um, they're easier to put in, they're easier to take out. They Because you put them halfway down, they don't pull on your, your hair as much. Uh, if you use the end wrappers, these are going to be much safer. Now, these actually had a little silk, a little satin cover, which helps with moisture. But as you can see, it kind of very quickly kind of begins to unravel. And so the end wrappers are always going to be good. So once you take them all out, you know, once I take them all out, I'm just going to oil them. And again, you can see I got, I got my bounce here. Okay. Take them all out. I'm going to oil my hair a little bit, run my hands through it. Um, if I had to do this every day, if I liked curls, 
this is going to be the safest way for you to have curls in your hair because you're not using any heat. You are not pulling on your hair unduly. Um, you are not uh, inviting any tangles like you can easily get with the pipe cleaner if you're not careful. So you can see what I got going here, right? And it's really, really beautiful. I have another one up here. And remember, depending upon the style that you want, because you may decide you want to roll up all the way to, to your head so that you can really have that Diane Carroll type of look. Um, that's always an option. I'm just going to spray just for some nice shimmer up in here. This is the Iron Melon and Magic Oil. It's helping many of you guys. It's, it's just building your hair from the, from the roots up. And I use this, you know, for everything. And I attribute this for the health and the, the thickness of my hair and the fact that I still will end up having to add and have had it to add more um, more locks because of using this. It's, it's, it's a way to really revamp your hair from the from the bottom up and it's, it's for the roots up and it's very, very light. It's got everything in it you can imagine just in the right proportions to get you the kind of results that you're looking for when you're invested in this long-term uh, hair journey. And less is always more for those of you sisters who use this, you know, less is more. We got all natural um, ingredients, organic ingredients are in here as well. Some of the best quality tested oils from distributors who are reliable insofar as we know that this is a an area where a lot of products can be adulterated. So you take a look at this, right? And you can see these curls. They look absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have a lot of hair. You know my hair is already thick, but look at look at how it looks now with these. It looks super thick. And um, I haven't really combed through them. But I mean, it's it's really gorgeous and your hair can look just like this, regardless of if your hair is longer, if your hair is um, shorter, you're going to get double the volume that you already have and you're going to love it. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Y'all always comment on the smell of this and I love it. Just the right proportion gives me a very synergistic, powerful uh, smell, which which I love and apparently you guys love. Now you see this here? This is a bit of a problem because it's a piece of straight hair. So I, let me get this out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up with the pipe cleaner. And what you're gonna see me do is I'll go back later and I'll actually um, wet it. Although I don't want it to be too tight because it needs to fit in with these curls. But it does kind of stand out right now. So I'm just going to roll it up on here. Roll it to the end. Bend it. And I can sort of hide it in here so it's not standing out like a sour thumb. And this is what you got. Beautiful sisters. This is... your curls and you know you can wear your style any way you want you just be creative look at that see that's a nice sophisticated kind of a just fall in the place fall in place hairstyle here just brushed over to the side okay I can even take some of this and form me a little Almost like tie if I want it. Tie my hair over to the side. Tuck it in like that. So I've got even something else going on here. I mean, there's just so many options. And it's just so beautiful. Remember, if you want your hair to be uh, tight, more tight, tighter curls, make sure you get the smallest sponge roller. Make sure you pull tight, a little extra tension on the hair but hold it from here or hold it out from here so that you're not pulling here as you pull tight on the roller to actually increase the tension. 
add either setting lotion or a little more water. If you add more water, you can sit under the dryer or if you don't, make sure you give your hair ample time to dry. You're gonna need more than a day if you add quite a bit of water. Uh, but if not, just use a setting lotion. But you can see how happy you can be at the beauty that you can create. And wherever you find imperfections or hair hairs that are not as curled, just go back in. If it's a black roller, I can use a black roller because this, but I'll just use another pipe cleaner, okay? But you just roll it back up and just stick it in there and within a few hours or later on in the day, it'll be fine. If your hair is not as thick, use a pipe cleaner. If you're interested in I Am Melanin Magic uh, natural hair care or skin care products, text me, text me at 678-438-6442 or <coughs> go to the website, <coughs> IamMelaninMagic.com because we all are Melanin Magic. I love y'all. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I wish you peace productivity and prosperity thank you for supporting the channels as always i'm out here for you trying to give you informative videos some are more related to things like today related to style and so forth there are other videos that deal with a little more serious topics a little bit more um discriminating subjects and things you really need to be careful about with regard to this journey here i'm trying to save you some of the pitfalls of what many of you on the channel uh, discuss with me and share with me in your sister lock journey and I'm trying to save you from some of the pitfalls of some things that I had to learn along the way you know I've had my journey I've been on this journey uh, 10 years now and I've learned a lot on this journey and I'm trying to avoid losing my hair okay which is becoming more and more common because of the lock trauma we experience with this with the repetitious and sometimes um harsh nature of some of the retightenings along with some of the other practices that your locticians may have. So those are the kind of things that I like to talk about here on the channel and inform you about. Um, <clears throat> and I'll continue to do that based on what I've encountered in my journey. I love y'all. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, peaceful and productive day. If you want to deal with more uh, issues that are related to or concerns or have more dialogue related to things we, um, that come about if we're talking about areas of spirituality, everything is spiritual. Spirituality is everything. We're not talking about religion here. We're talking about you, how you live your life, your paradigms, your belief systems, your energy um, with regard to relationships, the spiritual journey, going within, doing your healing work, anything like that. Then see me over at my Butterfly Transformations channel. You can find me on YouTube. Just type in Butterfly Trans Transformations and Tunisia Ali, and I will come up and you can subscribe to that channel as well. So I'm going to be signing out. Love you. Grateful for you. Thank you. Shout out to, again, to Olivia. Shout out to the beautiful um, Miss Crawley. I can't think of your first name right now, Miss Crawley. But we have been texting back and forth. Beautiful uh, sister here. Shout out to Miss Lydia. Kimberly Crawley, shout out to you, Miss Kimberly Crawley, and shout out to you as well, Miss Candace. And there are just so many of you all in this phone for the last two years. It's ridiculous, but it's a beautiful thing, Miss Sarah Stapleton, too. Um, shout out to you as well for all of your support for the channel and the healing work that I do, along with so many of you others. And um, Nadine Stewart, if you're still out there, giving you a shout out. Also to Miss Ali, mm -hmm. I can't think of your first name off the top of my head, but some of you all, uh, you ladies were some of the first really uh, coming into my channel along with Armada and Shay and, and so many others of you. But um, I want to see if I can see your first name. I got to give you a shout out, Miss Ali, because you have the same name as I do. And I've never forgotten about you, but somehow um, can't just can't plug in your first name very interesting but you're a real estate professional out in california so if you happen to be watching this video give me a shout out hopefully i'm still in your contact information i haven't heard from you in quite some time i'm going to try one other way to try to find you hadn't heard from you in quite some time but i'm always sending out love to my loyal road dogs uh, my loyal road sisters <laughs> Those of you that have been ride or die since the very beginning, I often think of you 
and I want to shout you out, but it would be there would be too many of you to shout out, unfortunately. But um, I always think of you because you all made my you all made me feel like a like I belonged when I first started on this journey, and I wasn't even sure if I really wanted to do a channel. Carolyn, there you go, Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn, giving you that shout out, Carolyn Ali. So lots of love to y'all. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.